Здравствуйте, дорогие друзья, с вами Денис Кочерга, Казоку Фэмили. Мы продолжаем играть такую игру, как секретные файлы Сэм Питерс. А мы уже приближаемся к финалу, и поэтому продолжаем там, откуда в прошлый раз остановились. То есть мы собираем цветы для того, чтобы сделать типа эликсира. Ну, короче, как в каком-то плане так. Так. И что нам с ними делать? Это вопрос. Let's decant this delicate brew. Ага. Мы пока с этим ничего не сможем сделать, да? Ну ладно. Нам что, снова разжигать костер? Ну ладно. Так и поступим. Так, по-моему, надо положить миску. Я прав? Эм. Чё так долго? Нет. Нет. А, я понял. That should work. Gotcha. The ant stuck to the brush. Тад, заткнись, дай мне муравьев поймать. Almost too easy. I had to give it a go with chopsticks. Gotcha. One more. Класс. Вы серьезно? Да. The entrance to the caves, and no sign of the professor. I'd better go in and take a look. After carrying out the written instructions for Father Samuel's protection ritual, of course. 
I have absolutely no inclination to go catching hideous jungle monster disease. Ah, Wokok. And in it goes. And in it goes. And in it goes. Mm -hmm. Ah, нет. I'm glad that I don't have to carry that. А, нет, муравьёв, спирт. And in it goes. Так, And in it goes. So, that ought to be all the ingredients. Сейчас проверим. Let's see what happens. Ugh, the way that stinks, just the smoke could keep pretty much anything away from me. Что-нибудь изменилось? those things even more passages it really does seem to be more extensive than I first thought The obligatory mask. Uh -huh. Are the Asambosum fans of masquerade balls? It's like some kind of graphic novel. They follow him into a cave. The children continue to live there while the man also gives them food. And so the children... But what is that? The poor children. Perhaps the professor knows the answer. I feel like it's there for a reason. The poor children. If perhaps the professor knows the answer. Was that an animal or a human or what is your no can you fall? A tetris sunak. The poor children, perhaps the professor. Panel.
понятно. Здесь мы были уже. И тут мы были. Весело. А, вот мы еще пропустили. Четыре куска. Остался последний. А где мы его профукали? А, вот он. Not the slightest trace of Prof Hartman. Only more passages that lead deeper into the caves. Да, все правильно сюда. This mechanism with the five stone wheels would appear to nothing. 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 Done it. Так, лучше нам, наверное, сохраниться. Мало ли что тут может быть. Так, они вроде фотиков боятся, как в прошлый раз. Так, надеюсь, у нас все есть. А, значит, надо ему дать. Так, 
will have to do until we get back to the mission. Ну вот, по-моему, мы сейчас с профессором уже можем поговорить. Да. Hey, professor. You look considerably less shit than you did when I found you two days ago. Welcome back to the land of the living. Thank you for the uh, expressive compliment. The sisters have looked after us quite devotedly. And of course, my deepest thanks to you for your getting me out of that, Miss... Um... Peters. Sam Peters. Ah, and you are the journalist. Please forgive me for setting off without you. But the situation left me with no other choice. Forgiven and forgotten. If you give me the story as promised. Of course. So you have a few minutes for me then? Take a long look at me. Do I look like I've got anything else planned? I'm just not entirely sure that I'll be able to give you all of the answers. Let's find out. You want to know what the Asan Bosom are? Spill it, Prof. They are humans. I'm sure of that. Did you see the wall paintings in the caves? Yeah. The Ashanti were always a very secretive people with an extraordinary bond with nature. As with all native peoples, their living space also forms the basis for their existence. They naturally defend it with every means at their disposal. At some point, the Ashanti shaman must have realized that they would not be able to defend their lands indefinitely from outsiders. They therefore trained up some quite exceptional warriors. The ritual that's shown in the cave paintings. Correct. But those things don't appear to be human in any way. What happened? Well, it happens that there is a particular species of snail, which is incidentally the reason we were here at Lake Bosomtui in the first place. Whose genome has changed through eating the algae brought here by the meteorite. Yes, exactly. The algae may have been carrying a virus, which, over a relatively short period of time, triggers a rapid genetic mutation in a species. There are supporting cases. On the Indonesian island of Flores, they found the fossilized remains of a very small but adult human who was a genetic successor to Homo erectus. All evidence suggests this subspecies of dwarves evolved in only a few generations as a result of their isolated environment and in response to the narrow, low-ceilinged cave systems of the region. An unbelievable evolutionary step. Relative to conventional evolution, this process really did take place at the speed of light. As with the Asambosa? Possibly. Perhaps, as with the snail and the algae, the virus is the explanatory factor across all these examples. How far does this go? Perhaps the shaman knew that the algae possessed some form of mutational capability and raised his warriors on it. The terrifying result you've witnessed firsthand. Then these warriors are designed with the sole purpose of keeping outsiders like us away. That is my interpretation, yes. And what about this disease they carry? That, alas, is one of the questions I cannot currently answer. The Asen Bosom themselves appear to be immune to it. Perhaps it's a further defense mechanism. Do you think that they killed anyone? No, at least not directly. The evidence so far suggests they were designed to keep potential aggressors at bay, not to actively eliminate them. So what now? As snail research goes, Professor, this story is more sensational than most. That may well be the case. But? The shaman and the Ashanti have only been acting in the best interests of their people and in perceived self-defense. And that justifies their turning children into monsters? We don't have to approve morally. But does morality apply in the case of survival? Doesn't every nation do reprehensible things every day in the name of survival? Clearly, we are not the first Westerners to come here. And I doubt the intentions of all such visitors 
are as benign as our own. In this special case, I have to ask myself, even as a scientist, is knowing the answers more important than doing the right thing? Answers are what we're paid for. Then I hope never to see the day that we run out of questions. Do what you think is right. So, I have to make a decision. Так, у нас тут выбор, публиковать историю или нет. Ну, конечно же, как мы поступим с вами, дорогие друзья, мои подписчики, друзья. В общем, давайте сначала опубликуем, а потом нет, и посмотрим, чем отличается. Да, я не думал, что настолько короткая история, но для дополнения вполне неплохо, и графика тут симпатичная для квеста. Давайте, да. Even big game hunters. The military looked on and did nothing. The few game wardens were helpless. When mass demonstrations back in the West finally delivered the Люди были заинтересованы, и все пошло по жопе. Но мы сделаем в следующий раз нет и посмотрим, чем это будет отличаться. But at least the last Asambosan had been freed from the clutches of unscrupulous zoo owners and show people. They'd been moved to rehabilitation stations, where they're being prepared for their return. Ah, ну если заповедник под охраной защитной организации. Monitored by an international protection. Ah, ну это в плюсы в принципе пошло. As for me, well. Ну посмотрим, что будет, если нет. Ну что я хочу сказать, дорогие друзья, в принципе, для дополнения вполне неплохо. Я, конечно, ожидал чего-то большего, что покажут старых персонажей Нику Каленину, Калинкову и Макса Грубера, но в принципе для а, обычного дополнения вполне неплохо провести а, где-то полтора часа поиграть и получить определенное удовольствие. В принципе, в принципе неплохо. То есть это как бы ты почитал приятную историю, разработчики старались. Вот, поэтому следите за новостями, я буду что-то тоже интересное проходить для э, своего канала и для участников группы Казоку Фэмили. Так что с вами был Денис Кочерга, дорогие друзья, до новых встреч и всего хорошего, приятного вам дня.